This is Karen with Yasutomo. Uh, today is Creativity to Go. And the reason we're calling that, of course, is all of our travel friendly products that Yasutomo carries. We have now amazing portable watercolor sets. I'm going to show you all of these. We've got the 12 piece, 24 piece. We've got pads now that are perfect for your purse. We've got hot press and cold press. We have watercolor pencils, which are awesome for travel or for just to go. Also, they're just great. We also have, and I'm going to show you all these. We also have the Niji roll, which is, by the way, the perfect, perfect case for your watercolor pencils and your water brushes. So I'm going to show you these, all of these pencils. What else am I going to show you? I'm going to show you uh, the palette, our watercolor palette which is amazing if you like to do, if you like to have watercolors, if you have your own watercolors that you want to put in from your tubes, such as our watercolor set here, 15 colors plus gold and silver. And that goes in this palette. Now, uh, this has been in here for quite some time and it works great as a portable palette. So you can go with it. I love this thing. It has a little thumb, a uh, little thumb, uh, whatever that's called. <laughs> also, you can hold it stable in your hand if you're out and about. So I'm going to just kind of demonstrate one of these, all of these products to you right now. And so I, the first thing, and of course, we're going to have a giveaway. So please stay tuned for that. And I'll, I'll show you the products as we give away, or the ones near the end of the, the demo. So I'm going to start off. I'm going to give you, and I'm going to do a demo with some of these. You know, I've got some little pretties out. One I wanted to mention too, we also have some new pens brand new pigmented pen. So I'm going to show you those two. And those should be in the giveaway. I forgot to mention that Phoebe. So uh, maybe we could put those in, in the, maybe a set of pens for each of the two giveaways we're going to do. A set yeah. of, de a set of the, the detail master with the watercolors and the uh, pencil scent. Okay. I hope that makes, I hope that makes sense. So let me start with the uh, artist watercolors, Niji artist watercolors. These the 12 essential set is 12 artists what quality watercolors and of course it has a metal tin and, and those metal tins you know are pretty expensive if you just buy them by themselves and we of course have them filled with our favorite colors actually colors that are intended for mixing so when you look at the uh, palette here go, i'm just going to open it up here here's the color selection we've got gambo's hue burnt umber burnt sienna Alizarin Crimson, Hue, Permanent Rose, Purple Lake, Ultramarine, Thalo Blue, Viridian Hue, Sap Green, Indigo, and Payne's Gray. These are transparent or semi-transparent colors. There's no opaque colors in there. They don't look that pretty in the box when you see them. Oops, <laughs> one little cube fell up. Um, they don't come, they look kind of dull, right? They look kind of just dark. But the reason is because they're transparent. They, this is the yellow, even though it looks brown, it will be yellow. So I'm gonna just gonna demonstrate that. Well, actually, I'll just show you because I have the, this little set already, this already picked up. So this is the gorgeous gamboge, which looks brown in the tin, but it really is beautiful yellow for mixing. And then I've cut, here's the colors just straight out of the uh, box. And this is them mixed together, all gorgeous kind of blends of colors without making any mud. That's why this essential set was chosen. No mud, made for mixing. So always know that this is different than any watercolor palette that you will see in the market, pre-made. Um, this is, this is we, we're the first people to come out with this. So the Niji uh, water, essential watercolor set, and it's got a very strong tin. tin. It's like beautiful. So I'm just going to demonstrate a little bit uh, just some watercolor, some mixing with this, basic mixing. And I'm going to bring out, or I'm going to bring out the cold press pad, which is another one we're going to be giving away today. This is a 15 sheet pad. It's not a block. It's it's uh, only bound at the top and it is it has a cold press surface. I always just take it off the, oops, <laughs> I just tore it. So be careful when you're removing it. I'll do it again. It's got very strong gum. And since I'm not going to worry about this being a final card, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use that. But when you're taking it off, and I should caution you, depending, because some paper paper pads pull off fine and they're easy. This one's got a really strong glue. So I'm just going to kind of be careful for the next one and just kind of just think about that gum might be pretty strong. So there's another one. 
All right, cold press. I'm going to go ahead and use the ripped up one because it's just testing. And I'm going to use my water brush. Um, this water brush, I'm going to use the flat today. Now, this is our Niji water brush. It's been around for a really long time. And I love it because it has, it's flat. So I'm going to pull out. I'm just going to show you some colors straight out. And here's our beautiful yellow, gorgeous, bright yellow. I love this color. It's so pretty. And then it can be mixed. So I'm going to take, uh, I've got to grab a paper towel, which I didn't grab. I know I'm going to have to grab a tissue because that's all I have <laughs> close by. So when you're working with the water brush, always clean your brush out on the tissue, paper towel, napkin, something you've got till, until the water is clear. I'm going to bring the next, I'm going to pull some color out here. And I'm going to make the next swatch here. This flat brush, by the way, if you're a swatcher like me, I love swatching watercolors. This is perfect for swatching because of this size. It just makes a perfect, perfect little rectangle. And I love that. I'm going to go ahead and clean the brush out. I'm just showing you. There we go. A little bit of this color. And I've got to remember what color that is. <laughs> if I look at the chart. And when I do, when I do a swatch like this, let's say. This might be a good thing to do. Um, I've got six colors on the top row, and I'm going to have six below. So I'm going to do a little swatch of all these colors, and then I'm going to write down with my little detail master the color name. So I'll know every time I open this palette, then I can actually see that color swatch. Or another way you can do it, if you want to cut out, cut out this and put or keep it in your in your. Uh, tray. You can do that too. But I like to make them small enough to stick either on top of the palette or um, or inside. I don't even know if I got the right size here, but I'm just going to show you these gorgeous colors. This is like a, it's like a, it's almost like an opera pink, but it really mixes beautifully. And it's not that. It's not, I think it's the alizarin, but I should look at the colors again. So here's the sixth one or on the, across that top. Of course, I've made it way too long, but to put it inside, I would make it smaller. See how nicely this works as a swatching, uh, swatching brush. So always, this is the KWB twenty, the flat water brush, and it always comes with, it comes with this nice half inch uh, uh, bristles here, and it has a nice big fat cap, and it holds a lot of water. So I really love this one, and I'm going to go on this next row and swatch out my next row. And I'm leaving room for uh, the color names. I just think these are so cool. And I'm going to swatch out the next color. That's a phthalo blue, such a strong blue by itself. And the next color, you can see how nice and uh, soluble how these colors quickly dissolve. And they're very bright and really uh, really vibrant. I hope you can see the, how vibrant these are. This is the sap green. I don't have enough water squeezed out on my brush. There we go, just making a little swatch. And then this is the, what is that one? <laughs> it's the Payne's Gray. Beautiful. And then the last one is a, um, it is, what is this one? <laughs> it's a neutral tint color, but I'm trying to remember the color. It is called pink. Great. The other one is indigo. This is indigo. So to remember all these, I'm going to grab my, this is my uh, new, our new detail master pigment liners. These are so great. You've got, you've got, it comes in a set and I don't have the plastic, the, uh, the little case right now because I, I don't know what I did with it, but I have, it comes with a very small 01, 03, 05, and 07 and a 1.0 tip, really nice tip. Now these are waterproof and they're pigmented. I'm gonna use an 03 to make these little uh, gamboge. So you can just write like your little notes. Of course, I'm not gonna write the word hue because it's just too, too small. And this one's a burnt umber. So you can use this detail master for not only doing things like this, but you can also use it for doing like little details in your watercolors. Like here, I used it to do a little line drawing. Um, I can I did it before I did watercolored, and the pigment is perfectly it it stays 
um, it stays, it's permanent. It's permanent and waterproof. And this is called the DMPL set, just so you know, DMPL. If you want to order these, these are, they're pigmented and waterproof. In comparison to another major brand that's been around for a long time, these are really, really nice. I'm going to show you another little piece that I did using, uh, I used some watercolors, just made some watercolor swatches, and then drew with my different tip sizes and made all these different thicknesses of the, of the, uh, on the page. Okay, so that I wanted to share that we have this. And I'm gonna kind of leave these out because I probably will be using these over the, throughout the thing. But here's my little swatch of the 12 piece set. And you can see how nice and vibrant these colors are. And we'll be giving this set away. So when you look at it in the tray, you'll know this is your yellow, you're mixing yellow. And that's why I always like to do this, especially when I'm on the go, when I'm somewhere. I just don't, I, sometimes I don't remember what's in the tray. Okay, so in this set, just so you can see, also has a little, little thing to hold your, to hold it in your hand. If you're taking off somewhere, you got somewhere to go. You got you want to open this up, and you're painting. This keeps you nice and sturdy. Now you'll notice I have noticed that these little guys are falling out. Now you can resolve that if you want. Put a little gum arabic at the bottom. Sometimes that happens. It just if they come out, no worries. You can put some gum arabic uh, or wet. You can wet it. Let me just show you this. I'll do another trick. Um, if you just wet it a little bit, put some water at the bottom and just kind of sit it in, and that should glue it in. So those are just little ways if they come out. It happens sometimes. That's a new set, and I had, that was my first time seeing that happen, but it happens. So another thing I'm going to show you is, so that's one set. Okay, you're going to get on the giveaway just going to wipe my hands off. I've got paint all over them. You're going to get this set and you're going to get this cold press pad. So this one is NCP5. It is cold press. You get 15 sheets. This is your Niji uh, essential watercolor set, which is the item number is, what is it? <laughs> Let me tell you. I'll tell you. NWS12. And you know what else is great about it? This little pack, when you get it, if you're going to give this as a present to yourself or someone else, it wraps really nice. It's got it's very easy to wrap, and it's just beautiful. So that we're going to give away. You'll get this, this, and you're going to get a, a mini water a water brush. And this is a, a mini. It's basically short and stocky, but it has a medium sized tip. So that is uh, one of our giveaways. We're going to do a couple. And maybe three, but for sure we're going to do two. So that's one. Now uh, I'm going to show you the next thing that we're going to be giving away. And then I'll show you uh, some things with the other set. So if you haven't, if you don't know about this, this is our watercolor pencil set. And it's, this is, uh, what is it? NP, NWP 36. And this is just basically, you've got 36 colors. And they're very nice, a nice um, collection of color. I really like these. Now you can take, you could cut this just by itself. It makes a great little set. You've got a nice, right now you've got a little pencil holder and it's good to go. Now, of course, when, you're, when you take your pencils get shorter, it's gonna be a problem. But right now it's a beautiful little container for your pencils. And this serves as a water uh, container this cap. So you know, until these, until you erase, you know, I'm not erase it, until you use the pencil sharpener a couple of times, or you could put them in and then just print, bring them out. But you've got a water container and you've got your holder. And I love these. So I'm gonna show you another way though, which you'll be winning is uh, the way I love to carry my pencils is in the Niji roll, NCP something or other. And I'm sure that <laughs> it's NCP 30, or I think, I don't know. I don't know the no item number offhand, but this is holds 36, the exact number that's in this set. But it also gives you a little room for an eraser, a water brush. Like, this is how I want to roll with this, you know? I like to take, if I'm going to go on a trip right here, I've got my water brush, maybe a second one here. I've got a second one. Oh, I've got room here too. So I can put this water brush right there. It's a little tight fit, but I can get it in there. You see, I've got that. I've got two water brushes. 
in a whole set. And now I'm ready to go. So that is, you're going to get this roll in the pencils along with the water brush to go with it. And then what's nice is it snaps up. Now, it even holds the water brush and the pencils within the snap actually is going to work. I'm, it's a tight fit, but I know it's going to work. I can get it on there. <laughs> it may be a too tight with that one, but the, it will, yep, it will work. It's not adjustable, but it's a very tight fit. And now it's not going to go anywhere and you can stick it in your bag, your travel, uh, your purse, whatever, you know, you've got, and then you've got, you can take your hot press watercolor paper and you can start playing. And I'm going to just show you a little bit of things that I like to do with this. So I've got my me, my little mini water brush. It's filled with mostly with water, but I've actually been using it. So it's not that good. But there's two ways that I like to use these. Sometimes I take them straight out of this, like right, especially with a fresh set. I like to just take my uh, color straight off the brush. So I'm going to get it. I've got a piece of, I'm going to grab a, another tissue. I'm going to have, this is my, like if I'm on a trip or I'm sitting in a gallery or I'm in a doctor's office or something, and I just want to, and I'm waiting around and I just want to sketch something. This is great. You've got your watercolors. You've got pens if you want to have those. And I'm not going to, I don't need this because I've got my water brush. I like to actually pull color directly from the pencil, just like this. I just like a little palette. I hold it like this. And this will last a long time because I'm not grinding the, I'm not wasting any colored pencil. I'm actually just picking up the pencil right off the uh, thing. So I'm going to just show you, I'm going to put, I'm going to do this little gnome. I'm, I'm on this gnome kick because <laughs> I, I painted gnomes with my ladies the other day, and if any of you are here, uh, I hope you are. This, this, <laughs> these little gnomes I'm obsessed with. So I'm going to create the hat right now, and they may they may be wet under wet gnomes, but uh, I'm going to show you kind of what I did. I made a hat, and look what this little watercolor pe pencils. How nice I can make this. And then I'm going to grab another red because I want it to look different. That looks almost pinkish to me, so I'm going to grab a red. And just kind of drop some other color in here. Let's see, there's another, that's a real red right there. And I love this, whoops, I got some brown. But the, this works really well, just as a watercolor delivery system, and it doesn't show the pencil marks. So that's why I like this, doing it this way. It's it's good for small uh, pieces, like, like little travel pieces, because you're really not, um, you know, you're not used laying down a lot of color, but you're laying down a, just a little bit and you're going to, it's going to go a long way. So when I want to change a color, let's say I want to go to a blue, let's say right there's my blue and just pick it up and just put it right on my hat. So there's the little beginning of my little cute gnome. And now that's the hat, just that. And now I'm going to clean that off. And I think I'll take another blue right here that's in there. And I'm just going to make a little pom-pom because he's, he's just going to need a little pom-pom. There we go, like that. Just like that. <laughs> and now I'm going to I'm going to skip the beard. There is there is going to be a beard here. But as I uh, found when I was trying to do this freehand without drawing the body, it looked a little wonky. So I'm going to use the artist pencil, our new artist pencil. This is another one to put in your to-go kit. Uh, this is a nine millimeter. The, we have a nine millimeter, 1.1 and 1.3, I believe. Those, it's mechanical pencil, so you never have to sharpen it. Another good, good feature. And this lead lays down heavier lines and, you know, it's a seven or it's a, it's a, it's a nine. So it's going to have a thicker line. I'm just going to kind of show you the thickness. You know, it's a lot heavier. You can do some shading and drawing with it. But here I'm just going to draw the body or the basically the 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 uh, what's this thing called a beard the beard of this little gnome and then I'm going to draw the body which is just a little kind of a little shape here this is how easy it is this little gnome is like nothing to it little arms he's going to be just kind of dancing I don't know what he's doing but he's cute and then I'm just going to do his little gloves or mittens. And then the little shoes. And this, I think with this, this one today, just for fun, one of our ladies did this the other day and it was so cute. They did these long, goofy legs with little 
poofy shoes. And I just think that is the cutest thing. So the really, the really, the, there's really no, there we go. See how he looks? He's so cute so far. Just like that, my little gnome. Now I'm just gonna start filling them in with my pencils. And I'm gonna do this only in colored pencils to show you that how fun it is. So this is uh, the black and I think I'm gonna take use that and let's see how dark I can get. I'm gonna do just the shoes in the black and I'm gonna do it this way instead of drawing directly. And then, but you can also color it in with, if you wanted to use this as a pencil and make to make marks, and I'll show you that in a moment, you can. You can actually do that. Um, just kind of, pull, just put your colors down however you want. Like I've got these black shoes. Why I did that, well, I don't know. I could have done red. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little blue, just top, put a little blue inside that. These colors on this set are uh, beautifully pigmented. And for the price, they're very reasonable price. They're not the high end. Um, they're not high end watercolor pencils, but they are light. Uh, they resist fading. They're very, very nice pigmented pe pencils. So you see how pretty that shoe looks. And I'll just do the little uh, other side with the black. And I'm trying to, I'm just trying to make it look like a watercolor rather than a colored pencil. But you can do the colored pencil as well. And this is really talk about going on the go, right? You just got the pencil set and you've got the um, brush and a pad of paper and you're ready to go. You don't need a bunch of equipment, a bunch of stuff. All right, so we've got his little shoes on and I'll put a little more blue down here just to kind of even that out. And this little brush, this mini watercolor brush, I, well, the Niji watercolor brush, Niji water, Niji brush. I, my brain, it's Friday. Okay, <laughs> forgive me. So there is this. Now I'm going to change the color. So I'm going to wipe that down, and I'm going to use a different color for the legs. And I see, I see that pink color kind of happen. I'm thinking that color that I started with right here, and I'm going to make, I'm going to make like little stripes. <laughs> now I could do it, I could do this, which would be kind of fun, maybe just drawing the stripes in, heck with it. And I'll just draw the stripes in and I could go later with my uh, brush if I want. Like it's kind of fun to give it maybe some texture. This is a little quicker than trying to do that little, the brush work only. So I'm just gonna take this, stripe my little socks, or what he's, whatever he's got on, I'm just gonna make that. And then I'll use my brush to wet that, to make that a little more deep. There he's got a little striped socks. And now I'm just gonna go with my brush and wet that and just kind of soften the, 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 the uh, pencil stroke and kind of let it soak into the paper just a little bit. And then I'm gonna take, just for shadow, I've gotta grab a, Maybe that black color or maybe some blue. Let's see, maybe try the blue. And then this time I'm going to use, I've got to find something like a piece of plastic, which is, I'm going to do it right in here since, you know, I'm trying to be portable here. So I'm just trying to thin this out and make a wash instead of using the direct, the color directly from the, uh, from the pencil because I can't control the, the light and dark that way. But here I can, I can just put on a piece of plastic or anything like that, and I can do it that way. So now I'm just gonna make a little shadow on his legs and let those kind of blend together. So there he's got a little shadow and maybe underneath his garment a little bit, his or hers, whoever. And now I'm going to take this part and I'm going to do, I'm gonna take make this blue. I'm gonna use that same blue or just any blue here. Here's a blue. And I'm gonna take the pencil straight out and I'm gonna just, Go ahead and use it like this. And I'm just going to do the outsides only. So I'm just going to kind of do, not the outside, but the edges, kind of like this. And I'm just going to go around the beard. Now that totally ties that beard in. And then I'm going to go where my pencil, where I had my pencil mark, and right in here. And if you um, do work with this while the pencil or on a wet area, it's going to go in a dissolve. You can see it's making a very dark area where I where the wetness was already there. So I'm going to just take this. Oops, got a little crumb there. I kind of snapped that. 
And I'm just making kind of a little edge, a border. And then I'm gonna just bring a little pigment here. And now I'm going to just use my brush, put that back in. And I'm gonna use my brush to just do, sort of push this color around. And I'm gonna squeeze the, squeeze it out. Now you look at it, if you notice, those pencil marks are there. They're not going anywhere. You see, they're not really moving much. They're a little bit. But this always happens when you're putting on cotton paper or any type of paper, it's going to leave a mark. But that's OK. I've got another plan. I'm kind of moving it to a light blue, and I'm trying to wet that border area and just kind of let it all kind of smear together if I can. And now I'm going to take that blue or a different blue. I'm going to take a different blue here. And I'm just going to drop that in and kind of create another dimension of color. But you see, I love these things. So these watercolor pencils, if you haven't gotten any yet, get them. <laughs> and I hope you win them if you do, if you stick around for the end of the demo. They're just really fun to work with. And they will, they're compatible with all of, if you have other colored pencils, of course they're compatible, they're wax-based. Well, not wax, I'm sorry, they're water-based, but they have some, kind of binder that holds you know the pigment on and I really don't know what that is maybe I can we can find out if the, what the binder is if there's a binder so there's his little blue coat and I think it needs deepening so I'm going to go for another layer maybe a little bit of purple here that's not purple that's brown here we go <laughs> hope everybody's doing okay I just feel like I'm just out chatting along I'm going to use some purple because I want some pigmented some good color here. But I love my little water brush. And you notice I'm squeezing the, the water out to control the flow. Other water brushes may not give you that control because you, you know it tends to just squirt out. But this one will not. I'm just going to change it up a little bit. This little, little part here and maybe go in here. And then I can come back later and make stripes or do whatever I want with this, with the pencil even. I just think it needed to look more watercolor. I needed to mix that up a little. So there, I'm just leaving it like that. I mean, oh, he's a happy gnome. So really, I'm not going to do much to the face, but I have to add one thing, one thing to really finish this off. And then I can do a little bit here and there, but he's almost done. I'm going to take some pink. I'm going to grab a pink color or a peachy color. And I'm just going to put it in my in my uh, plastic here. And I'm just going to make a little nose right there. Just like that. That's, that's it. And then I'll let that dry. And I may come back with a little shading or something to make the beard. And then his little mittens. I haven't done those yet. But uh, I just need to take my little brush. And I love doing this. I can sit here all day. I don't want to keep you all day. So I've got a couple more things to show you. I wanted to finish this and let him come back to it to do another layer, maybe, um, with my brush and or my other watercolors. But you can see these one, these are make beautiful colors on their own if you don't have, if you just want to give maybe as a gift, give someone a set of pencils just to start. This is an awesome set makes a nice, nice gift. And also it wraps up really nice because you can just take the wrapping paper and then just do a little uh, crimp it at the ends and leave a little uh, thing at the top and it's really good to go. So there is that. I'm just gonna let that sit. He looks happy. We'll set him aside. Uh, let's bring out the, uh, the other set. I wanted to show you because I'm, we're at, while we're at it, I've got, this is the uh, set that has 24 colors. It's a studio set. And I'm going to show you how it looks new <laughs> because, and the item number is NWS24, and it comes with gorgeous colors, 24. And you'll notice the colors are brighter. They've got a bright yellow. You've got some nice mixing yellows. Mixing colors are in there, but they don't duplicate what's in the, this is how they look. Just so you know, this is how they look. Little nice little candy wrappers. You have to unwrap all these to uh, use it, but that is when you get it, it comes in this nice, gorgeous, pretty tin. And what I love about it is I can put my water brush in there. Uh, that's what I love about this set. So you can take your favorite water brush and it fits right in. And 
not only does this one fit, you can also fit the other one, the, uh, the other one we have, the Premier Water Brush, which is somewhere on my table. It, it's somewhere I had it a minute ago. Oh no, I know where I put it. <laughs> I put it right in this thing. So let me just show you. But if you wanted to use it, it should fit really perfectly in there as well. So this is a nice, very nice set for travel and for just keeping in your studio, in your little space. I'm gonna to try to clean this up a little um, and kind of get you, just do a little bit more maybe on that, on my little gnome that I started. That's how I use baby wipes to clean everything, by the way. And my tissue, and now it's ready to go. Got nice mixing areas. And some people like to take uh, other half pans because these half pans are removable and they snap in and out. So you can rearrange them any way you want. But also if you wanted to really add more colors, if you wanted to consolidate, you can take your little set, I'll just put this one out here. You can take the colors out and say, since some of these aren't, they're not the same, you can actually take some of these out and put them in this track if you want. If you want, you can probably fit about 10 maybe, or maybe 12, I don't know, let's see. I'm gonna take that out. We'll find out. These usually these go right in the track. I don't want to snap it in too far, but they will snap in and they won't come out. It'll be hard to get them out. But I think you can get about eight to ten colors. So if you wanted, you know, if there was a color in there that you really you wanted to, to consolidate, make it pack light, let's say, and you wanted to have more colors, take this one, get this one, and then just add your other color. Or if you have colors that you love, have empty pans and you can just put them in. So this set has the 24 colors, lemon yellow, gamboge hue, cadmium orange hues. So these are not the true cadmiums, the true, um, you know, the true pigments because they're very expensive. These are the closest thing to them. And they're, uh, they're very, um, very light resistant, almost light. I'd say they're light fast. I did test them and they're very good dur durability. So you can see actually they have light fast ratings and pigment names, pigment numbers. If you're into the, that, save this sheet so that you do know what they are until you've done your, your swatching. And then you can take your, uh, your set with you and you can figure out, you'll know what colors are in the inside. But this is a really nice set too. I'm just gonna go over the that set here so you can see these colors in real life. Uh, they're very, very super highly pigmented and I love these colors, some of these colors are not in this small set and some of the small set colors are not in this. So you'll have like a, you have the gamboge, but you'll also have um, quinacridone gold, which is a close, it's close, but it's not the same. And it's an amazing mixing color. And you've got some a little more true red here. You've got you, uh, not a sap green. I believe that's a hooker's green. I should look but this is not duplicated in the other set. So I, I like having both because it just gives me every color choice that I can, I can imagine. So this one, I'm gonna take my little gnome and it's dry enough to kind of work with him. So I'm gonna just kind of work with him a little bit because I wanna fish him. And I'm gonna use, this is the bigger brush, but it still has a nice, this is the water brush KWB 15. This comes a really nice, super nice point. Very, very good for a synthetic brush. And these are so durable, they last so long. I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna, it's really a brown and I didn't want that. So I'm gonna take the next color, which one's that? Okay, that's the color I was looking for, the indigo. And I'm gonna just mix it with a little Payne's gray, which I believe that is, because I always like to include that rather than a black. Because black, this reads as black if you make it dark enough. I'll show you what I mean. So I just make it dark enough and it's black. I don't need to have a, a black black, which kind of looks very gray when it's thinned out. This looks really more of a beautiful, it's just a, it's a beautiful dark gray with a bluish, sort of a bluish tone. And then here, I'll just go ahead and show you that what I was meaning to do <laughs> is make it really, really light. And I was just gonna do a little tiny, just like a little, maybe some marks on his little beard, just to kind of indicate that it's hair, even though it's not. I'm just gonna do these little marks, little tick marks, kind of like that, rather than trying to make it look like hair. I just don't feel like doing the details for that today. 
And there he is. So he's got a little cute little mark here. And now I'm going to take this and shadow this area to give him dimension. Just like, and I really like the way this hat, I love the way it worked out up here, but I'm going to give a little more shadow right on the edge, just a little bit, and then maybe kind of darker right in this spot. The thing about watercolors is you need to layer to make it the most interesting. Layering is your friend. Here, yeah, just there, so that's a better shadow because the, the you'll get more depth. But I'm not going really heavy handed on the color as I layer. I'm actually just keeping these layers light. And every layer I add will give me a denser, deeper color. So there we've got that. And then I wanna do the same thing. I'm just gonna use this kind of Payne's Gray mix just to kind of bring some depth and dimension underneath his body and maybe uh, in the arm or underneath his, not his body, his beard. So yeah, I'm just kind of doing that. And then I'm gonna add a little bit under the leg. And there's a lot of water here, so I don't, and I normally would like to use a heat gun to speed things up here, but uh, I'm just gonna do what I can here. But now he's starting to look pretty cute. And then I'll take, I'll deepen the uh, this with this layer. So I did my first layer with the colored pencils, and now I have my second layer with the with these. And I like working with both. You know, I kind of always ignore colored pencils. I have, if I pointed my camera over to my space here, you wouldn't believe how many colored pencils I have. I have every brand. Um, so I can compare them to the Yasutomo brand. And, and I really like them, these, the Yasutomo brand is, you know, and the price is way less than the, some of the others. I mean, I've, I've spent a lot of money on colored pencils. And so this, um, these are a great combination to have with your watercolors. So there it is. And I'm gonna let that dry. And then I could put them on a little ground. I could add a little candy cane. Well, I'm gonna do that just for giggles here. Just gonna draw a little candy cane. I'm gonna do it with my colored pencil here. Let's see, right. I'm gonna do it freehand. I'm kind of being brave here. If I can just get the real regular red out. That's a red right there. We'll see. We'll see if I wreck it or not. <laughs> it's okay, it's just paper, right? So I'm gonna give him a little candy cane because it's that time of year. So I'm just gonna do a little, just kind of, oops, it doesn't go like that. It usually goes like this, right? It usually goes like that. So I'm just gonna make like these little lines kind of going up and I feel like Elise gonna have a little candy cane and it's gonna come around and then it's gonna go like this, du, 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 du. just like that. So now he has, he's holding a candy cane. And then what I'll do is after, in a moment, I'm going to just take my brush with the gray and I'm going to just give it a little gray shadow just to kind of show the depth and the, sh the shape. Here I go, right now, right up the thing. Oops. Up and through the little glove and then just down and maybe bringing it around like that. So there, so I've got a little shadow. That's, he's holding a candy cane now. And and now I'll just kind of do some more shadowing here, maybe underneath the little, this part. And then I'll play with some patterns. Maybe I can use some more blue and do some little lines on his garment. Maybe like little stripes. Now, let me tell you about the pins. Now, so far I don't have any pin marks on this, but if I wanted to line to create some black detail, this is where I, when I would do it, right? You know now. So, but I kind of like this watercolor um, effect, just the watercolors only. But after this dries, if I wanted to take a little detail, I'm going to take my zero point one, my little tiny thin one, and I'm going to create. I'm going to kind of finish this little little pom pom off with that. So it looks a little bit more finished. And then after it dries, I'm going to maybe well, I'll do it now. I'll take my I'm just gonna use this pen just to kind of finish off and finish this drawing off. I'm just gonna do it. Now I could do, I've done this before, but, and then it would have been waterproof as well. But one thing you have to be careful with pigmented pens, you don't wanna go, uh, don't wanna put these in water, any wet. So if I have to be careful that these are, um, this is dry because if I dipped it in a wet puddle, it's gonna stop the flow of the pen. 
So that's kind of, you know, that's the thing you have to be aware of. So I'm going to make little kind of bells on the, just like little bells on his shoes. And then I will, going to show you how it is waterproof. I'm going to take my brush, going to give it a second to dry though, because it needs a second. Needs a few, you know, needs a minute or so. Not a minute, but a few seconds. Hopefully, <laughs> when I do this, it'll, it'll be dry. But now I'm just going to fill that in with the gold or the yellow. And you can see that's waterproof. I have a nice waterproof little pen with the little bells. So now he's a little cute little thing and I'll just either cut him out or I could keep drawing as this is dry as I might draw around that. The hat is still wet, so I don't want to draw around it yet, but you can add detail. You could add a ground. Now the one is a really nice, it's very nice. I'll add a little blue, maybe a bird. I'll just leave it alone. But you could add things or you can sign your name. This is like, let's call him, let's go gnome. Gnome. Here we go, I got an idea. Gnome for the holidays instead of home. So we're going to go gnome for the holidays. So these make a really nice um, pen to write with, but it is more of a drawing pen, you know, more for details and not necessarily writing because it has a felt tip and it's very um, delicate. So you've got to kind of be careful with the tip, but it's great for fine lines like doodles like this. Um, you can go thicker with um, the pen if you use the one. And these I haven't outlined, but if I want to sign it, which I like to sign my stuff sometimes, and this one I only did in pencil, but I'm going to do this. I'm going to go over it now with my uh, pen, and then I could erase later. But that finishes that little guy off. That, that makes it like a piece of artwork, right? Just kind of using your pen to sign your work. Let's see if I can find There was another one here somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> somewhere. There's the other one. So these are really fun to do and they're very whimsical and really easy to do.